Hello and welcome to my Let's Play series on Minecraft 1.9. My name is Samuel Third, and I'm going to start a single player Let's Play, and I'm going to call it Surviving with Sam. Hey now. We're going to go Survival. Generate structures on, world type default, no cheats, and no bonus chests. Done. Create world. This is my first ever Let's Play, so please take it easy on me. I'm doing this because I really love playing Minecraft, and I'm just wanting to share this experience with other people. I have a few friends of mine that I want to get into the game, and I'm going to kind of use this as a semi-tutorial for them, as well as getting me familiarized with making YouTube videos. So let's go ahead and get this started off. Uh, for starters, you have the sun coming up over there in the east. Um, it will take about 10 minutes and it'll go all the way across and set down over there. So we got to get a, ourselves established quickly. That way we can get better prepared for the nighttime. Check our inventory. There I am. Hello, world. Go ahead and punch this tree. Get a few trees chopped down here with my bare fists. That way we can get wood and craft it down. Now I'm going to, after I get this tree chopped down, I'm going to go ahead and make me some tools out of wood. So we have six blocks, drop them in here, and we will get oak planks or oak wood planks from that. And four in a station like that makes you a crafting table. This will be your best friend. That is the major tool that you will use for the rest of the game. Dang, look at this place. It's beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get some better tools lined out here. What I'm actually going to do, so I'm going to get that. Two of these together make four sticks. You drop them in there like that. Put three blocks across the top of their planks, and you make a pickaxe. And then you can also do two like this and make a sword. I'll put these where I want them over here. I'm going to do one more set of these and make an axe. That way I can come over here and chop this up. Okay, now let's see. I'll cut down a few more trees before I jump down there and start getting into that rock. Hopefully we can find some animals as well. Now let's see here. Gets these little saplings up. Nice little flowers. Okay. Is it just me? Or does nobody else see any animals? Now I heard rumors of people trying out 1.9 and they're saying that the spawn rate for passive mobs seems to have changed a lot. Aha! There we go. Everybody likes a little bit of steak in their diet. We're about to have a lot of bit of steak. Yes, I'm going to murder all these cows right here. Because we won't be sticking around this area too, too long. Cow, get your butt back here. You've, you've got to die for the greater good. Cow tipper. Oh, two for one. Oh, get back here. Oh, come on. Oh, ha. Where'd you go? Here, cow. Hey, yo. Oh, yo. Oh, yo. Hey. Okay. So now I've got nine raw beef down here on the bottom. Mmm, that sounds great. But what we're going to need to do is cook it up into some steak in just a little bit. I think I actually like this little area down here better than where over there was at because it's a little bit more flat terrain right here. 
end up on top of that starting hill. Cut this down. And what I'm actually going to do right now is just go ahead and dig out some of this stone right here. And it'll turn into cobblestone, see, down here. And you can cook that in a furnace and make it turn back into this kind of stone here just to make it look cleaner. Or you can put four of these in a crafting area just like we did with the blocks for the crafting table. And they'll make stone bricks, which are pretty cool. Now, we're going to need about 22 of these. So I'm going to mine this stuff out here. And I think I'm going to I'm gonna make this my first little first little hidey hole right here and the way I like to do it I'll make it three high on the inside because this I mean you just feel so closed in here I'm not claustrophobic or anything but it just makes it feel a little bit easier a little bit more at home if you can look around and have a little space above your head it might just be me talking but that's how I feel about it see what I just did there taking up my front wall like that. I have to put some cobblestone back down here then. Kind of a bummer that we couldn't find any sheep on the first day because we could have made a bed and slept through the first night. But you know what? It's okay because we will just do some exploring. Now and by exploring, I mean we're going to dig down and try to find some iron. If we do that, we'll be able to make ourselves a shield, which is actually new to 1.9. And I've seen some reviews with the shields, and I've actually tested them out a little bit, and they're pretty freaking awesome, if I do say so myself. Now, let's go ahead and do this. Cobblestone make a stone pickaxe. I'm going to use the rest of these for the sticks. Make a shovel. An axe. You can also make a hoe by putting two of them like this, but it's for farming, and we're not going to be doing any of that right now. We're just trying to get ourselves set up where we can get better settled in here. And then we will make this land our oyster. Now, we need to make a furnace, which is just all but the middle one. Cobblestone. You get a furnace, you get achievement, hot topic. Awesome. And now there are two ways to get these fuel sources. One, you can find coal by mining, which we did, have not found yet. Or, you can throw this down here for now. And this is the new aged way but you can throw oak wood in here and any kind of fuel source, like a wooden sword maybe, and a wooden axe, and it'll burn down to charcoal. Now these will only burn one block a piece. Charcoal, that's about to pop out right there, and regular coal will both do eight. Eight, uh, eight blocks per one of these. See how fast that's going down? I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put this one up here too. I'm gonna let that cook down for a little bit. So, come over here, chop down a handful more trees, because those, honestly those nine uh, beef down there are going to be plenty to get us through the first night, and that's what we really want to do, just kind of, oh, hey look, there's coal right there, we'll go get that in just one quick second, but that's all we're trying to do right now, is get through this first day and night cycle, spiders? There must be a cave around in here. We will find that, I promise. Because, uh, I'm. Go we're gonna go exploring here in just a second. Once it gets darker, we're gonna run inside, block off that door there, and explore. Pick up these saplings for later. And if you're wondering why I'm not picking these up right now for the birch, I'm not really OCD, but I like to stick with one type of wood. Instead of having two or three different kinds in my inventory right at the first start, because on the first day time is very crucial, and it, it to me it's never made sense to go and get oak and birch and spruce all on the first day. I'll use them a lot for building, which will come a little bit later. 
whenever we start going into detail on builds and things like that. But for right now, I'm just trying to get the basic essentials down. And I'm in no means a like an awesome builder, but I, I like to build and just play around with stuff and learn how to build things different ways. Now, in case you're wondering what those little glowing balls that fell down and little bell noises were, it's experience points. And at the bottom bar down there, you can see that we have a number one. So we got to level one experience. And that'll be used for later on in uh, enchanting when we get that stuff. And that'll be quite a ways down the road, but it'll be all right. Just kind of looking to see if we can find any more animals out here before it gets too much darker. But I'm going to cut down a couple more trees just to be safe. Which, you know, 16 logs will give us a full stack of uh, planks. Really. Y'all hear that? He sounds like he's right beneath us. Like there might be a cave entrance around here. Where's our sun at? I, I know. Oh, it's going down quick. Okay. Well, we've got enough for now. Is that him? No, it's just... A, where that dark looked right there. Okay. Apples! Yay! Apples are very good. I'm gonna put some dirt right here, make it look real fancy. I know it's probably dark, y'all might not be able to see. I'm gonna do this. That. Bam. Okay, see that? Alright, so now we've got 24 torches. We'll post a torch up here. Let there be light. Ha ha. Put some raw beef in here with the rest of our charcoal, and that's going to cook up. And while that's cooking, I'm going to start a, a little mining expedition. I'm going to take it off down here, make a little staircase going down, because the lower you go, the more the better chances you have of finding more and better materials like iron and gold and diamonds along with other things we'll, we'll get into all of that a whole lot later look more coal awesome okay I heard a bat that means there's a cave nearby which confirms my suspicions and I'm betting it's gonna go down in that way because that's where we we're hearing those spiders earlier try to stay away from gravel as much as I can, but it seems to be haunting me right now. It's not that hard to deal with. I mean, you can clean it out with a shovel, you can do it my favorite way, which is breaking this one with a torch and planting the torch underneath it. When they fall down, the mechanics make them bust like that, and you don't waste any durability on your tools. Now, let's see. Keep on going down here. I'm going to go check on our food in just a minute. I'm just kind of trying to get a little system going on down here, which is not a straight staircase down, but I hear it. The little bat's getting louder. Ow. Oh, sorry. Okay. Now, let's get on up here and get our food. See what I just said there? Uh huh. Way to go, Sam. We have to block ourselves in for a second. There we go. Now I'm not sure how the volume's gonna be. There we go. Steak. I'm hoping it's not too loud. It does sound a little loud in my speakers. If it is, I apologize. I'll fix that on the next episode. But I I did some tests on it already, and it seemed like on the playback it was fine y'all just let me know if it's too loud I can turn that background music down a little bit now so we got here we got granite gravel got getting a good bit of cobblestone obviously from mining down here so all right I'll go back down over here one thing you don't want to do is break blocks that are meant to be broken with a certain tool. See right there, that's flint. That's used for arrowheads. Just remember that. Alright, so like, say, you can see 
how long it takes. Hey, there's iron. There's iron. We didn't have to dig very deep at all. Let me break this real quick and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Because if you try to break this gravel here with this pickaxe, it'll take longer. And I believe it breaks it faster. See that? Bam, bam, bam. You know, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Just making sure there's no more behind here. Let's let more coal. And for some reason or another, I'm sure it has something to do with the world generator. But coal and iron usually will spawn within a close proximity of each other so they're kind of easy to find especially at the top levels of the surface of the world and one thing is once you start getting into stuff which we will later on as far as redstone and hoppers and droppers and everything else you'll use a ton of iron unfortunately We'll start, we'll make us an auto furnace that we can just throw all the raw meat into one chest and it'll drop down automatically into a furnace, cook, and then dump itself back out into another chest. And we can do all that fairly, fairly soon. We don't have to do, we don't have to be too far in the game for that. Come on, Sam. There we go. I promise I'm not that much of a noob at Minecraft, but it's showing a little bit. I'll use my last charcoal on these. Um, let's see. We'll take half of these and make some of these because we're going to need. Oh, I hear them skeletons. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make us a shield. So, to make a shield, since this is all new on 1.9, you're going to make these in a form like this it makes it look like a field goal put this iron ingot right there and it's supposed to hang on I might be lying to you hang on so I know there we go okay I'm so sorry it's oak wood planks it makes a shield and I also found out today by watching a video you can Alright, so you take the shield in one hand and you hit the F key, and it's going to flip it over here to your other side, and you can have a sword in this hand. This is all, looks basic, but it's brand new to Minecraft. You hold the right button down and you block. And you can't block and hit at the same time, but you swing with this sword, or your left click, block with your right. And this, like I said, will block anything in a 90 degree range left to right. Not up and down, though. And definitely not behind you. Hello. Anyways, I'm going to hit F5 and go back here. Alright, get the rest of these out. And with six of them, let's see. We can make a helmet, or we can make a pair of boots. We need seven to make pants to go up and down, and we need eight to make armor, which is the other way, plus this middle one. So I think, I think the, the helmet gives you more than the... Uh, boots so we'll make us a helmet and you can equip these by either holding them like taking them from here and dropping them on your head or you can hold them in your hand like this and just right click and it'll automatically put it on your noggin okay so I'm gonna take a quick peek yeah it's still a little dark and gloomy out there so we're not gonna go out there just yet but uh, let's make us another pick because this one is about to break. And you can repair these if they're not enchanted by putting two of the same in here. This one's almost dead. This one's brand new. You get one brand new pick. If they're enchanted, you have to use a uh, you have to use an anvil. And we'll do all that as we go. I mean, I'll be throwing things out there and explaining it as we go along. So now. Let's get down here. And I like the fact that we can keep this shield because now in 1.9 it made it where you can block with the shield. It used to you could block with your weapon. Like your sword only would block. But now you can have anything in your right hand. Like I could 
I could run around with a torch in my right hand and throw stuff down, and then only problem is you can't really block. So if you, I guess if you have something in your right hand that you use with your right mouse button, like I can't, oh, I, I can't eat steak, or can I? Yeah, I can't eat steak while I'm blocking. Okay, but anything else, like say if I use my sword, I can block. Use my pick, I can block. See what I'm saying? So I must. I guess you gotta go to this blank spot and you hit F again, or you can hit F with this one. Yeah, you know, there we go. Oh, it's still gonna block. Okay. So swap that back. Go to the empty space and hit F, and you'll get your shield back to your regular spot. And then, then we can eat. But I guess we're not hungry. I'm trying to force feed myself, and I'm not even hungry. Way to go, Sam. Okay. So let's just do this right here. And by the way, I'm trying I'm gonna try to keep my episodes around about this time length, about twenty minutes to thirty minutes long. Because I I know it takes a little while to upload and render them and all that. So let's see. I'm gonna check outside. I'm pretty sure it's daylight now because we don't have uh let's see. We don't have to continue digging down right now if we don't want to. I mean, we're pretty good and set as far as it goes with... Yeah, yeah. As far as it goes with our steak right here. Another new thing that I've recently figured out is if you hold a shovel in your hand and you hit the ground with your right click, you can make a path. And I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure it stays like that. And, I mean, you can just kind of make a little walkway around, going through a garden area if you want to. Pretty neat. I like it. I think does it It has a little bit of a drop to it, I think. Yeah. Just, like, not even much of a noticeable drop. Now, let's see if there's any bad guys lingering around out here. Dude, that stuff over there looks epic. I know it's Minecraft, but look at that. It's amazing. Look, what did I say? There's more cows. Epic cows. That's right. Okay. That's what I'm going to say. Now, I'm going to use you as a demonstration, so don't go anywhere. You can also do a critical hit if you jump and attack while you're falling down. And you'll see little stars that'll let you know that you did it right, like this. And see them hearts flying? That means how much damage you do. Hey, stop running. Calm down, Bessie. This is only going to hurt a little bit. See them stars? Alright. What is that? Is that a... Is something not loading in? Is that what the, okay. I was like, what is this glowing substance down here in the caves? Is that new? I'm not sure. Oh boy. Y'all listen for any hissing sounds, okay? Because I don't want to get blown up right now by a creeper. But I have my trusty shield, so as long as I turn in time and block, I, it will block the blast. But ironically, if you blow yourself up, you can't block that. So, yeah. Be careful not to set TNT and then be right next to it and be like, ah ha ha, because it'll still hurt you. They're probably thinking, look at this idiot. He's going to be dumb enough to blow himself up. We're going to let him do it. Wow. Okay. Forget what I said about these passive mobs not spawning. Whoa. No, no, no. Okay. This is a good idea to, uh, time to explain. You can, oh, oh, okay. You can crouch by holding the left shift button, and you can go all the way to the edge. As long as you're holding that crouch down, you won't go anywhere. Now, don't jump, because you will fall. You gotta let off the left shift, and you can walk around. Double tap W to make you run, which doesn't look like you can run very fast with the shield, or that's just me. I don't know. But you can also hold and toggle, I think, if you click the left control. Yeah, just click it. I don't use this way very often. I'm old school. I just double tap it. But you'll keep running until you run into something. 
and then it'll kind of slow you back down. Now, look at this. We've got planes right here. This is going to be a perfect setup for us. Oh, chickens! Okay. My favorite food source right here are chickens. There's a few reasons why. One, they're easy to kill. You see that? You get feathers. Look, that's two feathers. Chicken. And they lay eggs. And you can use eggs in making one of my favorite things to make in Minecraft is pumpkin pie. It's a little costly to make, but it fills four hearts. And I believe the saturation is pretty good on it because you don't have to eat it so much as the other foods. And uh, saturation is how long your little hunger bar at the bottom, the little chicken legs, lasts. Like steak, I think gives you the best one though. So, anyhow, I think with that we're going to go ahead and sign off of here for now. Run back home. Such a, such a lovely day outside. Look at this. Man, we wandered off a little bit, but it'll be okay. Because I'm really digging this map. We're going to exploit it. I mean, uh, explore it. Now, we'll make one more thing. We're going to make ourselves a door. And it's just the planks in a position like this. And you get three doors. Used to, you only got one. Somehow or another, they figure you can get three doors out of that. And they are positional. So if you place them on the inside here, they'll be recessed inside like that, which kind of gives you more dimension. And then you can place it the other way where it's you know on the outside. But I like it like that better myself. Or you can do it this other way. I mean, there's a lot of different ways to do it. Uh, I did this by accident the other day, and it's kind of like, oh, wow. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Does it not work anymore? Hang on. I place you like that. Yeah, it doesn't work now. Oh, man. That's weird. You should, on, on 1.8 or 1.7, or 1 I've if you place it on that half of the, this block, it'll be butted up against these, but it'll be a little bit jutted out instead of flush like that. But anyways, rule of thumb, I know I shouldn't have this. This is an overhang, though, and it'll keep mobs from dying if they run up under here. But it does keep me safer from creepers dropping straight down on my head whenever I come outside. So, let's get this going on here. I'm in some F5 mode here. Alright, I will see y'all in the next episode where we'll expand this little hidey hole possibly or go and explore. Hey, get your head down. I think we'll go and explore way out there where we just ran back from. Let's see if there's any horses out there or anything like that that we can capture. There might even be a village or something we go find. So, until next time, we'll talk to you later.